Do I just wait here then? Every Rush song. Symbols on a field of visions. Another clever play of words, I think. Play on words. Because, you know, like field of vision, according to Jay. <laughs> yes. I mean, the Oxford Dictionary. The entire area that a person or animal is able to see with their eyes when their eyes are fixed in one area. So like you're looking at the center fielder from home plate, then you're that's you this is your field of vision. But then he says symbols on on a field of visions, with visions with an S. So he's not looking in one direction he's just seeing all of these things at once he's not you know you want to say distracted i don't want to say distracted but he's he's not distracted by focus i guess you know he's not looking he's not focused he's, he's not limiting his field of vision by looking in one place again he's, Shane, everything. he's talking about a dream okay so in a right. dream you, you could be having a dream and and your field of vision is a lava pit, okay? But it there's makes... other, but you could see other symbols that for some reason are in this lava pit, like the Dairy Queen you just had one chat. Maybe, maybe its sign is sticking up out of the lava pit, you know? Um, your boss's house. Sure so I think, I think that's what he's talking about there. You know, you got your dream, you got your vision, the field of the vision of where you're at, but there's other stuff from from your memory that for whatever reason it it doesn't make sense for in a field of lava, again, hot molten lava, for there to be a oh four-way stop sign. Yeah. Who, exactly. while traveling through a hot molten lava field, is going to stop at a four-way stop sign? Exactly. But for some I reason, would. I would have bail traffic laws. And it, I mean, if there's a, if it's also a hot molten lava field, wouldn't wouldn't the four-way stop sign melt? I mean, it's so close to the lava. Well, it's a dream, it's Jay. It's a dream, Jay. <laughs> By the I way, you're forgot. my dream, Jay. I, I. I I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> Just going to uh, And then like pass Jay right on through that. said earlier, you can't focus on anything because it's always changing. True. Right. Yeah. Field of like vision. Right. You're oh. dreaming and you're being chased. Okay. And you be, you could be getting chased down the street and in your dream, you make a turn. And next thing you know, you're in a desert sand. And you're slowing down and your feet aren't moving. And that cotton mouth is about to wrap itself and just repeatedly bite you right there in the temple. You know, oh, I'm sorry. That hurts. That actually, but I mean, that was an example, but that actually happened. Really? Jim, yeah. I think you just hypnotized Jay. So that was really a dream? Wait, was that a dream? I mean, it really happened in a dream or it really happened? Wait, did the... Did you have the cotton mouth or did the cotton mouth have you? And the cotton mouth had me. Yeah, it happened to me yesterday. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. <laughs> and Tim has a lot of scary dreams. It seems like lava. I'm telling you, that's what because is this? Water temporary snakes? dream, temporary madness, uh, man. Just, that is me. Just picture like a field of lava with the cotton mouth snakes uh, making other mm. lines all over it. They'd have to be wearing lava resistant iron wow. armor too, you know. The snakes no, with not Tim's dream snakes. They're in oh, business. not the dream snakes. No, yeah. What's the there's <laughs> a there's a couple of parts. Um there is there's the there's the line flying the flying through hallucinations, list distant voices, and after that you hear you hear uh, background vocals. And then later, after the line, symbols on a field of visions behind the curtain, after that, you hear background vocals. But 
pay attention to the background vocals because I have an observation, or at least it's what I think they mean. Now, All right. I think that's about right here. Okay, it's it's clear on the remix then. Uh, but he's Getty's like doing this vocal with screaming sound vocal. This, ah! Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you're screaming oh. out from in a your nightmare. Dream. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Exactly. And then yes. he does it again later in the after the line "Another World of Dreams" appears, and he does it again. Ah, is it? What do you call that part? That ba da do down da do down da da do down do down do. I called it the awesomeness part. I think it's it. the awesomeness part, yeah. Because it's awesomeness. Yeah. Then what you were saying about the field of visions, anything can happen because it's a dream. It's not real, which leads us to behind the curtain of sleeping eyes. Because it's only in sleep. Right. And these things happen and they're behind the curtain of your eyes of your closed eyes because you're only in your unconsciousness you can't you can't come up with these things when you're awake well unless yeah. you're a marine and you sleep with your eyes open That's i had true. an uncle that used yeah. to sleep with his eyes open and he would he'd sleep like this on his like this yeah so you could or or like this and you could never tell whether he was awake or sleep but you sure you're sure this hell didn't wake him because he was a ww2 vet and if you wake a man that's doing that, you will get beat you up. You will die. You will die. <laughs> yes. My uncle, uh, my uncle James used to sleep with one eye open and he would hold his pillow tight. I was strange. Sorry, I won't do that again. Promise. What song was and that? Then, I forgot. <laughs> Inter Sandman. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Put one eye open. Uh, well, Every Metallica song. Ah, oh, that would be um, hard. An, that'd be an irksome podcast. Twenty twenty five. On the instant of waking, another world of dreams appears. So the dramatic turn, and then you, you've got this. You're you're also that's Getty does the ah. Uh, he's screaming. He's He's, he's had this dream and it's, you know, it's, it's messing with him and he goes right back into the dream. I had it's to listen just to an that endless, it, you can really tell, like, if you're listening to it, like I, with headphones. Oh yeah. Uh, or, you know, I just listened to it on my computer, but I could hear the vocals. They're not super loud, but, uh, they're noticeable enough to, I'm like, oh man, that's cool. It is very cool. I mean, there's yeah. so many cool things going on yeah. in, in the awesomeness part. Yeah. Awesomeness, awesomeness. Awesomeness. And so that that kind of reminded me, that part reminds me of um, the movie's been out forever. So if, I'm, if it spoils the movie, that's on you. Wait, have y'all seen Inception? Uh, yes. I've seen Inception. All right. So at the mm -hmm. end, no. when the totem is spinning, this thing is still spinning. Oh, wait, so Tim, like, you haven't seen it? No. Oh, Do you mind. plan on seeing uh, it? I'm not planning on it. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> So then you don't know the totem is spinning. So you not only if... does he not care, but then you don't know if he's dreaming or not. It might still right. be a dream. I mean, he, he could be Sorry, he, he could be having the dream or Yes. The dream is yes. having him. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then is the unconscious world the real world? The dream world or is the conscious which is which is the real world the morning then, says the answer, the answer is, is yes is yes <laughs> all right yeah so what does that mean well i'm so the, glad you asked shane i'd like to know what you think that means and i will tell you whether you're right or wrong <laughs> well tim answered it earlier like at the beginning of the and then the i episode, think right then i would like tim tim to <laughs> tell us what that means and i will i will let him know whether he is right or he is wrong well since tim has an answer let's do his last okay because mine is what does that mean what is the question he has he asks the two questions all through the song did i have the dream mm -hmm. or did the dream have me the answer is yes to both does that mean both i don't know 
I think it means yes to both. I mean, because you, you the, the dream stuck with you. You had the dream, but the dream stuck with you, so it had you as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tim. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So uh, I, 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 I completely agree with Jay. Yes. Yeah. The, the answer, yes, is the yes to both. Now, are we unique in being okay with the answer to both being yes? It seems like, I mean, is, are there going to be a lot of people out there that want it to be one or the other? Well, I mean, yeah. think, think of it this way. Now, let's listen to music. Just kidding. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. You don't dream other people's dreams. So True. you had the dream and the dream had you. It was, it, it works both ways. It's like right. a marriage. Now you lost marriage of, of inconvenience. Right. Yes. Are you, are you saying that marriage is a nightmare? Uh, no, I said, <laughs> no. I said, I said, dream. No. It doesn't matter what kind of dream. It exactly. still had oh, you. No. For, they... for, for what sometimes seems like something that you experienced all night was probably 45 seconds in real time. That dream had you. It, yeah, it had you. And, and you you had the dream during that time you had the dream. Right. But then the entire next day, when you're still thinking about it, that it stuck with you that much. That's right. It had you. Mm. And that's when you're in the waking nightmare of, okay, what does this mean? Am I dreaming this or is this really happening? What just happened here? Um and you know the night, the living nightmare that Neil's going through with losing his his wife and daughter, and 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 so it's, I think it's tied to that, of course. But to to Tim's point, I mean, it, I think this song is about a dream, about dreaming. It's a, yeah. it's yeah, you know. Now is that all dreams, or just those dreams that have that bigger impact on? No, you? It, it's. I no, I think it's all dreams. It's the dreams that you okay. have when you're asleep. It's not the dreams when you're bored at work, sitting behind the desk, going, "Man, not daydreaming." This is a great dream, you know. For every yeah. Rush song to be the number one podcast in space, or in not just the yard. world, but space, in space, yeah. you know, and. Boy, that's a great dream Space. right there. No, no, that, no, no. We're talking about the nocturnal dream. Or okay. unless the you work, the, emissions unless, from unless your, you from work the third shift and Careful. you sleep through the day. Careful. Okay. Then I think that's an interesting question. Did the dream, ha did I have the dream of the dream have me? Because, because we always say that I had a dream, but. It's, it's probably stuck inaccurate. Me. The dream had you. Yeah, I've said, I've said I've had dreams and it's it's stuck with me all day. In other words, it got me. It got to me. It had me. Did we wear that out enough? Do y'all have anything else on? I'm pretty sure we beat that words, horse till man. it's dead. In fact, I think the horse we beat it so much, we sort somehow we brought it back to life. So uh, I think <laughs> I think we should let it live. The Just horse is the getting damn horse live. It's gonna want revenge. All right. Well, I this... dreamed a dream in times gone by when hope was high and life worth living. I dreamed that love would never die. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. Is that, from, young. is that from Phantom of the Opera? That is from Les Miserables. Oh, late, late, late Miserables. Oh, it's my kid's favorite musical. Wow. Oh, who knew? Oh, and I did it no did. justice whatsoever. Sorry. Oh, well, I think you did it justice. All right. Well, then y'all have to watch it this weekend.
That's your homework. That's your punishment. You have to watch Les Mis. Hell no. Mm-mm. I'll watch it with I, you. I'm going to watch some paint dry. <laughs> I'd rather I'd, I'd <laughs> rather watch Chicago. Ooh. And I did not care for that one. No, not. And what's that song about? It is, uh, it's about writing, well, it's it's about writing a song. It's about drugs. No. And it's about drugs. 25 drugs. was a slang term for a heroin hit. Really? So he's talking about, I mean, he the whole lyrics are saying he's asking, do I do another hit or I go to work six to four? Oh, I thought uh, he was like, I thought that was right. just some weird 25 ass key or six, or <laughs> six to four. And huh. I learned about that from my dearly beloved Uncle Joe, who passed away. It'll be two years in October, uh, riding around in a truck with him. And he just happened to be listening. He had that song on the cassette. And I always loved that song. You know, great oh, guitar. Da, 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 da. But uh, da, 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 da. He, he looked at me, he said, you really like this song, don't you? I said, yeah, I, I, I mean, I like Chicago, and this is one of my favorites. You know it's about taking heroin. I, wh- 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 what? But, really? Right. Oh, boy. And then, yeah, he explained that to me. You want wow. some heroin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is one of those That's songs nocturne not 25 or 64 where neil does instead of the he does that he does the tom thing and i love that it has some really cool bass lines on the chorus and tim i like getty's harmonies on this song well well because there are no getty o's there's no getty do's there's no getty Oz. I mean, is it, it is the ah uh, that sort of, but it's more like a, you know, it's not like ah, uh, no, more from the back of the throat. Ah, oh. <laughs> um, you know, the the. Why the would screaming, it take ah. the time to write ah? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, now he was. He does. Oh wow, the J J. Careful. He does do kind of a do to do to do thing on the instrumental break, and does he? Yeah, yeah. We'll I guess I'd there. have to hear that. And where was it? There was a song where he had, where was, there's the flange on the snare. Remember that? Remember the snare? The snare? I think I remember the flange. All right. So, yes, the flange. The flange. What about the flash? Okay. If you're listening to the remix, the remix has some really cool stuff going on the the original has the flange on the drums but the remix if you listen in it's got the flange and then over on the left speaker it's got the reverse reverb thing that gives it that sound yeah. have, you, have you ever noticed that in the intro uh uh-huh. i i noticed the sound i didn't go that's some really interesting reverse reverb you don't like that i didn't say i didn't like it i said uh, i've never thought to myself that's oh. <laughs> some really cool reverse reverb there well they never do effects like that on on the drums rush does it that reminds me of beastie really? boys there's a song they did with the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. all right well I stopped it right there because there's a really <laughs> cool little bass lick there at the end of that phrase at right about 20 seconds. You ever notice that before? That's pretty cool. Okay. And then this is the the part I think that I call the awesomeness part at 114 of the song. This is on the original.
And that's where you're talking about the the screaming in the background, Jay. Yeah, that's the nightmare part. I, like I said, when I like I when I listened to it on the computer, I I, the, I could hear it better. It was it was the more. This is it's kind of covered up for whatever reason. It, and it might be because I, I know it's there, but uh, I I can hear it in the car too, and maybe just because, just because I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah and also so listen so the bass and the gu- the guitar are both doing that da 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 and then listen there's a part where the bass goes down and it almost sounds like a slide but it's just because the the bass goes down at the end of the mm-hmm. phrase yeah mm-hmm. It's right before the dream. Doo, doo, yeah. Doo, doo. Doo. Yeah. You hit that. He bottoms out a little bit there. Mm. Bottom. And then this is on the chorus right here. This part where this is another thing where Neil goes an eighth or 16th back to the ch- 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 just the steady quarters on the hi hats. And it, it makes the makes it more intense. And I like the harmonies here. Wow, I, I, I wish you would not have cut it off right there. But something I just noticed on all yes. of those all those ending phrases on Neil's little drum fill, yeah. he ends it with a flam on the snare. But I didn't get to hear the last one because you stopped playing it. Wasn't sure if he did it there or not, but at least the first two he did. We'll I bet he did. Onto the sidewalk and take a look. Yes. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm talking about a Yankee ring. Oh, he was fat fat. Oh, on that. So on that last one, he did a double slam. Yeah. So that was cool. And then he does something a little different here on the second verse, Tim, on another world of dreams appears. Yeah, that didn't. Well, it was just, it was a, a, a double kick rough into the snare. Yeah. So yeah. rough, not a fill. Right. Now I wouldn't consider that necessarily rough. a fill. Okay, double kick rough. So you didn't know what you were talking about. And I like and and I liked how he went from don't get a gun to die, don't get a gun to die, don't die, don't get a die. You like where he kept the two and four on this there to you know make it a little bit more intense driving. Now, what I like about this awesomeness part here is on the second time, I'm trying to to get to the part without moving the window. There's a lot more guitar noise because there's all you can hear all kinds of harmonics and stuff with the distortion. And uh, this is on the remix. Oh. Did you hear that Getty bass? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I didn't notice that before. (laughs) I'm going to play. Okay, the, the remix again. Listen to the bass this time. There's two of them. And then. Yeah. 
God, how fun. I would, I would love to see him playing that, that would, to watch him with, doing that. Tim, make that no, call. No. Look. <laughs> call him up. Gary. Okay. Gary, it's Tim. Hey. This is why Getty Lee is so incredible. He's already done through his career these masterful bass parts. Okay. And he, the way he just keeps churning that stuff up without being repetitive of an awesome bass part from before. And, and, and it's in a part where it's not a, a break off into a bass hole. It's just a part of the jam right there. It's part of the and jam. It, it's just so cool. I agree. And I like, it's, it's like Tom Sawyer too, where the, there's that, Theme da 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 da. da. There was but no the, such the, thing. Both doing, pardon. There was no such thing as the Tom Sawyer too. Yeah, they only, the did, they only one. did one. Yeah. Just the one. Yeah. Also. I think you're thinking about Huckleberry Finn. Oh, uh, the uh, my bad. The book by bad. Uh, Mark Twain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but where they both have that that Tom Sawyer said da 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 that they both play, and then it has the keyboard part doing that too. But there's no keyboards on Vapor Trails. But this one on the da 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 da, where they both play that. You can kind of mess around it. Oh, and and wait a second, whatever your name was doing that, um, um, Earthshine reaction video on oh. youtube are we back to that just guy again like, that yeah just guy. once again i wish getty would just play a regular bass part and not oh, double man. what the rhythm guitar is doing mm. oh yeah Good like Lord. tom sawyer nocturne more on well. um, day will you that's right i'm talking to you man tim's calling people out Jay do we know the friends? person's name no yes. let's just call him Let's call Tim? him. Uh, oh, more no, already have a Tim. No, let's okay. call him. Let's call him uh, George. No, I think what's a and good name? And I'm going name? to call him George, and he will be my friend. Let's call him Kenneth. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. Yeah, but, we're on. By the way, what's the frequency, Kenneth? Okay, what is the frequency? <laughs> And then he goes a do 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 ba boom right there at the very end. I didn't notice that. Oh, I completely forgot this. I read about this like four years ago. Oh, it, it was a Getty Lee. It was a Getty Lee interview in Guitar Magazine, and they 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 were just talking about Getty. Some of your you know hardest bass licks and songs and stuff and you know he was talking about things like in yyz that was all pretty natural to him it wasn't really all that difficult but then he brought up nocturne and it, and it was you know i've been doing this for years coming up with different bass lines and and those screams that you hear i did not record those vocals separately i was playing that trying to get it right and just screamed out at the top of my lungs and the open mic picked it up. Really? Uh, no, that was false again. That was but a I gotcha. That's a pretty damn though. good story. I like yeah. that even better though. <laughs> I approve. Oh, and I read another interview where they all went on the space shuttle and landed on the moon and that's where they wrote Earthshine. Huh. listen to the vocals on the chorus on the original because it's it's a, it's slightly different and it makes for a really cool dramatic effect for the end of the song he said as he here we go the temporary madness yeah yeah that it does just on the, and you can't hear it as well on the remix. I hear a difference. 
and it's not you you more of the higher harmonies the yet the screaming no the that that harmony that was a nice harmony it was like a yeah yeah multiple and that, hard harmony and i i think on the original they bring up the higher parts a little higher in the mix so it sounds a little yeah. different because you can yeah. they're a lot more subtle on the original wow we've told you a lot about nocturne tim's ninth favorite song on the album tell us what you think 2112 at every rush song.com on the social medias at every rush song oh hey if you're subscribed if you're not subscribed subscribe but either way when you subscribe hit the little bell icon that way you get notified about our new videos you don't have to miss them yeah do that tim please help us help us end it thank you very much Cannon Beach, Oregon. Get <laughs> <laughs>